Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm gonna be doing a little bit different video. It is a haul video, but I wanted to show you guys some of the clothes I picked up this past week at an estate sale. Um, the first day we went, I paid $5 an item and then the second day we went, I paid $2 an item and I think I found some really, really nice vintage stuff. Men's think, clothes were two dollars. Yeah, the men's clothes was I mean, from the get go was two dollars. So, and there was some nice stuff there too, but not. There was an entire room that was clothes, just racks and racks and racks of clothes. So this for the lady. For the lady. The so. husband had one rack. Oh wait, no, he had two short racks. <laughs> in a different room. Now it was in a warehouse, so you can't really judge that by it was in a warehouse. So. It was, so we can judge it by, he had two small racks of clothes in a room with tons of other stuff. And she had racks and racks and racks of clothes in a room racks. all by themselves. Don't forget, what not, Saturday, this coming Saturday the 9th at 3 p.m. is going to be my first show. I'm three, trying. Wait, wait, 3 p.m. Eastern. 3 p.m. is Eastern. I'm trying to get this all figured out. In fact, as soon as we finish this, that's the next project to try to. I want to be organized. I don't want to just say, okay, here's this item. I want it all put in so you guys can see what's going to be auctioned. It's going to be fast. It's a lot of stuff. I might throw in some more stuff because um, I, I kind of like even numbers. So depending on what number I end up with. Um, and then we'll just hopefully start doing this regularly. Regularly. But uh, um, I'm anxious but I'm going to be glad when I finally get this first one done. So if you've not joined WhatNot, I do have a um, code down in the description. And I got into some kind of pilot program, pilot program where um, you, once you get registered, I think when you buy your first item, you're going to either get a $10, a $20, a $50, or a $200 credit. Um, and so will I. So if you've not signed up, please do sign up under my code and I'll see you guys on Saturday. And there was some toys I picked up the first day and some Christmas the second day. All right. I think this was the first day, but I know to be on the lookout for linen and cashmere. And I got a bunch, I got some of both of them, but this, look at this tag. This is Brooks Brothers and it says, Pure Irish linen. Just the dress had its belt. A lot of this stuff, a lot, some of it has still has its original tags. I'm not going to be able to quote stuff. I'm hoping at least 20 plus dollars on everything I picked up, but some of it's going to be like this. Hopefully, a whole lot more. But look at this, y'all. It's got a couple of stains I got to deal with. Look, this, and look at the tag. Never have I ever St. John's Couture. Bless you. <laughs> look, I was shocked. Don't know. It's got a couple of stains. I think Shannon told me something called wink if I can't get it out just with hand. So I'll try that out. Right. Look at this dress. Again, I'm pretty sure it was, yep, 100% linen, made in Hong Kong, and Guerlain. But look at the design on the bottom. I know from watching Kaylee Elaine, too, these maxi dresses are like, all, oh, look, and it even has an opening in the back. They're like definitely things to be looking for. So linen. Oh, this is the other uh, St. John. Look at this. All right, it was all tied up, but it is a two-piece, a dress with the belt, and then this, I guess, tunic to go over it. I paid $5 for all of that. I want to say there was another piece to this, but I'm not remembering. 
does, again, have this little discoloration right there. I looked this up. I just thought it looked so unique. Look at this. It's a jacket, but the brand was Deborah Cross. I want to say I saw comps that were 50 plus, and I want to even say maybe closer to $100 for that brand. I'm not specifically saying this. And then you can tell they were cared for because she stuffed her cashmere sweaters with tissue paper. But this one was, let's see. Yeah. Never heard of the brand. Berry Pace, but it's 100% cashmere. Large, look at that purple. Just very nice. You know, I'm hoping 40, 50 plus for these. Here was another cashmere. This one was Brooks Brothers also, 100%. Don't you guys think I wasn't looking to see if I could find me another Jenny Kane, but no. Just cashmere. It was another linen flax. Y'all, every time I watch her, I make long lists of all the brands she's talking about, and I'm starting to find them. So this was flax by Jean Englehart, 100% linen. It's another really long maxi dress. Y'all, the clothing sellers, let me know what you think on all this stuff. And then Robert threw in some shoes. Lots of shoes. We bought a lot of shoes because they were $2. $2 each. But I've got a whole bag over here also. Just Monroe something. M-U-N-R-O. Stuart Weitzman. Why does that... I've heard of that before. Stuart Weitzman. Look. And square toed. I think I heard somebody tell me square toed is a good thing. Made in Italy, Taryn Rose. I'm hoping I am going to be shocked with all the comps once I start getting this stuff listed. I think a lot of the shoes were in. We normally find shoes that we can resell, Clarks and whatnot, that are 15 to 20 to 25. Right. These were a chunk in that range, and then some seem to be more in the 30s and maybe even the 40s but most of them were in that 20 to 30 range it seemed like yep let me show you some of the toys i grabbed walt disney character look look at the tag it's very cool oh look dumbo carnival style it's kind of stiff and then here was oh well, he's got his jacket all pulled Pretty sure this is going to be Eden. Yep. Beatrix Potter. I'm hoping 20 bucks or so for him. This. Uh, I don't think he's the high-end one. And I paid up a little bit for him. But I've never had him before. $8. His pants are coming down. But I don't know how they work this. I, I'm thinking 25 plus for him, who maybe is, more. Who is he? McCarthy. What's the rest of his name? You don't know his name? No. Charlie McCarthy. Pretty sure. Not sure about... Oh, there he goes. His mouth. Oh, it keeps getting stuck. Other than Jeff Dunham, all the ventriloquist guys were done by the time I came around. <laughs> what are you saying, dear? Nothing. I'm showing my age again. But just had to get him. Never had one of them before. Look. Love this. It's jointed. I don't think I saw a tag on it. But it is definitely wool. And look. Just amazing condition. I don't know. I'm hoping 50 plus for it. It's very much larger than plush I normally find like that. She had tons of purses. I think, what was this, $2? Robert grabbed a Vera. 
Just in really good condition. I can assure you I did not grab that. I didn't buy this. I don't think I've ever bought a purse in my life. Somehow, somebody dropped this in our bag instead of their own bag, and I paid for it. And I Hopefully grabbed... Good. I know. I grabbed these. This one is... I think Stranger Things. I didn't even check comps. And then this one is Blizzard. Now, I I have found some Blizzard plush in the past that were high, high dollar. Oh, he needs cleaned. Um, I don't think this is going to be one of them. But anytime I can find animated plush, I like to... Not animated, but plush that goes with either video games or TV series. I'll always pick them up. This was a Robert find. It says, Hot Fingers. What did you find out about these? They're gloves. They are gloves. They are definitely look vintage. Size medium. Pretty sure they were a dollar, but I have no idea what they were worth. Oh. I don't know. I'm hoping maybe 15, 20 for them. And then this was a Robert find. Oh, Dickies. Dickies. Bibs. We tend to pick up most bibs. And this is a very much larger size. Usually what? These are like 40 to $50, if not more. They sell very quickly. They're a pain in the butt to take pictures of. Why? Because they're oh, huge and long. I thought you and... were saying I am. I'm like, what did I do? Yeah, they're very long and our board isn't as long and yeah. Hilo Hatties, vintage Hawaiian women's shirt. Had to grab it. Probably 15 maybe, dollars for it. Then oh, Dana Buckman. The comps were a little bit everywhere, but I figured this is a 100% wool skirt. And I thought this is the perfect time to start finding stuff like this and get it listed. So I grabbed it. This intrigued me. And it looks in excellent condition. It was called Ken Sporn with Whippet. It is a vinyl raincoat. I sh looked up comps. There was one that was multicolored that had sold for $100. So I thought for $5, I might as well grab this one. Not quite sure. I know it's kind of hard to show you guys this big stuff, but just very cool. I'm hoping at least 50 or 60. Whip it good. Whip it. I know you're going to put something in there. <laughs> and then there were lots of... This says Talbot's Collection made of Italian yarn. Medium. Made in Hong Kong. I know it's vintage. Just a heavy, heavy sweater. And I'm hoping, I don't know, 30 bucks or so. This said, Mary Lou Osbolt Storer, dry clean only. Look at this jacket. I need to go this way. She's got the geometric designs on it. I'm hoping 50 plus for it. Look like somebody broke the Olympic rings. Look, a vintage LL Bean. Pretty sure it is 100% wool. Cardigan. Not cardigan. Sports coat. Jacket. Loved it. I can't, I'm hoping 50 plus for it. This is another one of those brands I know Kaylee Elaine's talked about. Peck and Peck Weekend. Look how cool it was. Here is Talbot's, pretty sure, yeah, this is 100 per, well, 70% wool, and then some nylon. But again, I just loved it. I think this is going to do well. Very long skirt. Here was another one of those Dana Buckman. Just like, it's a cute Hawaiian wraparound, long skirt, several skirts. 
This one is Willie Smith collection. Just, I was in a wool skirt kind of mood. Oh, this was Talbot, but it, it was another one of those Irish linen shirts, size 14. Right, I think this is the other St. John, because I think others who were looking, they didn't go beyond the neck, but look right down here. St. John Basics, size 10, just a knit long dress. I was thrilled. So this... Here I always say we don't find nice higher end brands, and then I did. I grabbed this purse. It's It's got Hershey Kisses wrappers and all kinds of stuff in there, but I was looking somewhere. Oh, right here, and it says Brahmin, and I know that's a leather a branded purse to look for. So let me know if you guys think it's it's legit. It has really some condition issues, but I just went ahead and grabbed it. I think the purses were two dollars. Robert, grab! I'll show you guys a few pairs of shoes. Look at these. They are Vans, no laces, but they're just very interesting. Two dollars. You can just tell some of these were so old. Green Sports. I can't read the other small writing, but look. Gold Shoes. Grab this. This intrigued me. It says Arnold Palmer, Robert Bruce. And I want to say I saw comps. It's a men's shirt. I want to say it was like over like 35 plus for it. Could have been more. Ellen Tracy. It says company, Ellen Tracy, but I'm pretty sure, yep, 100% linen, pair of shorts, $2. This was the second day. Talbot's, again, Irish linen. They go baggy, loose linen pants. I did grab this. Look. Quicksilver, Stranger Things. I want to say it was like 20 bucks or so. I might, these might be for me. But look, Talbot's Relaxed P. It's a pair of gray stretchy pants. Robert grabbed this. It was Dragon Ball Z. It definitely needs a good soaking. But nice there. I want to say I saw a date. It is it old, old. It was like 2013 or 18 or something. 18, I think. But grabbed it. I grabbed a couple of scarves because this one said finest Australian wool Royal Scott. I didn't see any exactly like this. I'm still hoping it was going to be like 25 plus for it. And then I grabbed this. It is a little dirty. But, look, the three weavers, hand-woven, 100% wool. Houston, Texas. It was cute, though. Look, a little shawl. I think it was about 15 But the, the oh. scarves were a dollar. Scarves, scarves were a dollar. Right. I grabbed this, Eddie Bauer, right, right, look, it's long, long. I'm hoping 25 plus for it. And then Terry Cloth, y'all, you know, I talk about the toys, but even clothes. This said Gertrude Davenport made in the USA. It is like a little Terry Cloth jacket. I want to say I saw comps that were like over $50. On the way out, I found another one, but it was like a one piece, but it had way too much stains and I didn't want to take a chance. This was Chico's 100% linen. Nice, bold colors, but that'll be good. All right, and then 
think Robert grabbed this. We saw some that were branded. And they were like, I want to say a hundred bucks, right? Right. But we know nowhere can we find a brand on this. You can tell it's leather and in really good condition. But we're gonna have to do some more research. We looked everywhere, did not see anything. I'm still hoping, hopefully, maybe still 50 for it. This was a Robert find. What? Pac-Man. Or was this me? Me. Pac-Man. Priced one dollar. And what was the comps on it? I don't remember. I'm hoping 20 plus. Depending if it's complete or not. I can hear lots of marbles. I think I saw comps for selling the parts too, so. Something to consider. What were these hair dryers you bought? I didn't ever see them. There's two of these, y'all. Two. Dominion Princess Hair Dryer. Dang it, they wrote on it. Five dollars. They're like fifteen to twenty dollars each. No. I don't think they've ever been taken out of a box. Look. Look. Teal green blow dryer. I mean hair dryer. How cool. Here's the little bonnet thing. But you said 20 25 for these? It's 15 to 20 but I'm that thinking. was for use. I'm thinking in the box, never taken out. We might be able to get a little bit more out of it. But I'll still take them out to take pictures, y'all. But I'll have to put it back in the box. Yes. I grabbed this hat. I'm telling you, this person had amazing stuff. But it says on the inside, Dobbs, Fifth Avenue, New York. It's a size extra large. I'm thinking this, I don't think it's real wool. It's faux, but very nice. I want to say I saw comps of similar ones of this brand, 50 plus. I never did get to the Christmas stuff. That'll have to make it into another video. I want to say I might have the jacket to this somewhere else, but another Talbot's Irish linen. And then what was this? Oh, this was another one of the Dana Buckman. Just very cool scoop neck, whatever they're called, sweater. All right. I think that's it for this video. Tons of shoes, but it was an amazing thing. Uh, estate sale. Do you remember how much we spent in total? 119 was, the second day. You don't remember the first day? Probably 50 or something. We spent quite a bit the first day. Something I, I want to say 65 because I bought just all those dresses were $5, $5, $5, $5. So, yeah, not quite $200. Um, and I think we have another bag and the Christmas stuff is here somewhere. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll try to get as many comps up close to this stuff as I possibly can. But a lot of this is very new to me. So... Feed me info if you can on what you know about styles and any other info. All right, y'all. Get to work. Bye.